I mean, let's look at Stephen Hawking for a moment. Stephen Hawking has ALS. ALS. Everybody that has ALS dies, except Stephen Hawking. Now, now apparently he's got some very super sophisticated ALS technology, life-sustaining technology, but I, you know, I'd be very... I'd be very, very, uh, I'm very dubious about whether or not he even exists, if he's actually even real. That's one man's take. And now, could he could actually be uh, somebody that's very real. could. But I know a little bit about ALS, and there's no, there's, it's, uh, I guess if there was an investment to keep him alive, they could do it. Um, all right. It is uh, 1137, and you've been listening to the Friday Forecast. Not sure how much more I have left to say today, because I said a lot in the first 45 minutes of the show. And you got a little little taste of uh, a blast from my past. I apologize for the audio. That tape is pretty old, and I did my best to kind of punch it. We'll see if we can get that uh, a little clearer. Uh, with one more pass through and put that up on the YouTube channel. So you've been listening to the Friday forecast and um, I guess if there's any message here today, if we can derive any meaning from, you know, my rant at the beginning and Christopher's confessions as shared with me in 1998, it's a sense that in some ways we're all aliens. You know, we are all extraterrestrials to our own experience until we come home to it from an emotional place. You know, what I experienced with my mother throughout various parts of my life and, and even up until the time that I sat across from her at that Mexican restaurant was a sense of alienation. That I, I, that, that I was as much of an alien to her as somebody from a distant galaxy might be. But when I addressed that with her, the alienation went away. And for a brief moment in time, two people that were very disparate got a little bit closer. And in Christopher's case, for him, it was the ability to tap into these memories and relive them in a way that was non-threatening for him and gave him relief. And thus, he was no longer alienated from his own life and his own experience. So with that in mind, remember that we're all aliens to some extent. And for all of us, the key to being here now is to come home. And coming home is your own personal journey. And it's a point of return that in many ways reflects our alienation, which is archetypal from the quote unquote first day of separation. And if I guess if there's anything that we are tasked with in our lifetime, it's to come home to that. It's to return to that place where we stepped out into the Garden of Eden and we're ashamed, naked and aware of what we conceived or perceived to be a separate reality, alienated from the very source that created us. Well, the times, they are changing. So I urge you, with this Mercury retrograde, to go back, revisit, reconnect, and return home, wherever that place might be. All right, thank you for listening. Thank you for everybody in the chat room hanging out. You're the best. And I'll see you on Monday with the mashup. You've been listening to the Friday Forecast. Use your head to discern what's real. Your heart to stay open to what's possible. Have a great weekend. Stay free. We are, we are living in a computer program reality, and the, and the only clue, clue we have, have to it is when, is when some, some variables change, change and, and some alteration in our reality occurs. We would have the only concrete impression that we would be living in 